this is what he was alluding to. Um, this is this is a an FMR case, not a not a all in X case. But uh, I like these photos because I wanted to show kind of what I do on the records day and the walkthrough that I do. So what I do is the patient sits down in that chair and I I take a leaf gauge in the front and I just kind of guess. Okay, I think that's the vertical I want to do. And then I lock them in with a little composite right in the made the bicuspid areas and I just lock that vertical right there. And then I pull the leaf gauge out. And I just have them kind of maybe open and close or maybe just smile big, close their lips, you know, and I just evaluate the vertical right then and there. So like this was a case because I actually had her opened up more than that with the composite and she was closing her lips and you could see she was too open, right? She was too stretched. And so I took the composite down and this just allows, that's how I like to do it, just kind of see it in the mouth in composite with their lips at rest, they're smiling, you know, um, just kind of. Pretend like the patient actually has teeth at that vertical. Um, it, and then it's locked in with composite. Then I go and I scan the patient with, you know, at that vertical. So like you might say, okay, patient sits down. You might scan the lower jaw first, maybe scan the upper jaw. Now you're at the bite stage. Pause. Then go do your composite right then and there. And then scan their bite within their, with the composite. And everything is just locked and they're just held where they are. They're scanned right where you locked them. And then you got the scans at the vertical, and then they go back, and then they keep the composite in their mouth, and then they go up to the cone beam and get scanned at that vertical. And then they go over to the photo studio against the black background, and you got the big photos, and you take the photos with the big exaggerated smile. Now you have everything. You've got your big exaggerated photos at your vertical, your scan at your vertical, nothing has changed, everything is just locked in for all your records. So when your photo is up on the computer and you're your case is up on the computer, you're, you're looking at the same thing. You're not like, oh man, they closed a little bit or they changed. It's just everything, comb beam, photos, itero, one, one vertical um, when, you, when you have to open them up. And so you know, this case, you can see she ground all those teeth down. So we, we opened her up. Um, and then this is a DOAX that I had somebody else do. So I looked at this photos and I said, okay, I really don't want to... I don't really want to, um, you know, extrude her posterior teeth. You know, I, if I look at that smile, you know, that smile curve there, I kind of like where her posterior teeth is. This one's actually a little bit over extruded, so I want to raise that up a little bit. But then I want the front teeth to come down and follow that smile curve. So you can see kind of how I drew that to the lab. I just took a snapshot and drew a line there. And then same thing with the profile view. And I said, okay, I don't want to extrude these upper teeth. You know, I want to extrude the lower, the uh, the front teeth. And then the lower teeth are going to come up and match that. And that was just how I kind of communicated to the lab to set that up. Um, but when you're doing your, your wax up, now you know. Because if I was waxing this case up and I'm setting my teeth, I know where I want my occlusal plane because I have these photos here and I just set it up how I want to set it up. Is there any questions on that? Yeah, can you elaborate a little bit on composite? How do you quick it? Because sometimes it can be yeah, 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 it is. So um, it can be a little bit. So I like to, um, like I said, I like a little leaf gauge in there that I start with some vertical. And then I like to just take some cheap composite. Maybe it's just like a tube, a cheap, you know, packable composite. And just kind of like put it over the bicuspid areas and just kind of pinch it in approximately and leave like a big blob and then have them kind of bite down onto that leaf gauge. And the leaf gauge stops them. And then they're biting into that composite that's kind of like wedged in, you know, on the, in approximately on the bicuspid areas, and then you cure it, and then you cure the other side too, um, and you haven't etched or bond or anything, but you kind of mechanically locked it on the tooth, but you could still grab something and just go, and just flick them off when they're done, but at least it's kind of like enough material to kind of lock them in, and there's you know obviously a ton of different ways to do that, you know depending on material choice, you know you could use whatever you want to use, just whatever's comfortable in your hands. Um, you got to use enough composite. It's not too flaky because all of a sudden, you know, they're moving over to the photo thing. They're like, Doc, it fell out. And you're like, oh, geez, I've already started, you know. So get enough where they're like locked in and you feel comfortable. It's not going to be flopping around. And then make sure they're just staying biting into it and they're not talking and yapping and stuff. And it's not going to get stuck or anything unless, unless they had maybe a big resin on those teeth, you know, then it would bond to it. So don't, you know, make sure they don't have a big resin on their teeth. Good question, though. Anything else on that? 
So, I mean, this is just applicable to everything we're doing. Dentures, you know, crown and bridge, wax ups, full arch. And you just got to understand this to be able to plan the case digitally with that digital wax up. So you're in the cone beam, you're not using any sort of bite fork on the anterior teeth. Yeah, so... You can chin up and scanning them at that same level. Yeah, as long as they're open, and that was... Um, uh, you know, you can scan them with that composite, just like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, because you want them open, right, like we talked about, so that um, the cuss tips are scanned, so you can stitch those mm -hmm. models. This is cool because it's that vertical, you're scanned at that vertical that the whole thing was planned at. Because typically we're scanning at some bigger vertical, right, and then we're stitching in, stitching in the models which didn't, isn't at the correct vertical. Right, you guys have yeah. ran into that. Because typically, I just put cotton rolls in between their teeth and scan them for like single teeth. If you're only doing one arch, it doesn't really matter, right? Correct. Because then you just plan one arch and then just stitch that other model in. Correct. Loose guy up to it. Exactly. Yeah. If you're doing full, you have to have something like this, right? So um, it's nice, right? Because then it's everything is locked. Now let's just say it wasn't. You know, when you're doing a double arch, whatever, and you're like, well, geez, I scanned them at some big vertical. How do I do this? Um, kind of, you know, it's kind of convoluted, kind of com complicated. But essentially, think about: um, okay, you, you got your lower, you stitch to their, um, you stitch to their lower jaw. You got your upper and stitch to their upper jaw, and then you got to duplicate both models and then stitch each one to its appropriate partner. Does that make any sense at all? Okay, so like, let's say they were scanned wide open. Right? CB. Yep, CBCT. And you take their STLs and you stitch the lower and stitch the upper. And they're not in occlusion, right? The models are not in occlusion then. Well, now you could duplicate both models, right? Just go to your surfaces panel and just click each one and duplicate it. And then relabel them. So you got four models now. You got an upper stitch to the DICOM. You got an upper stitch to the lower. And then you got a lower stitch to the DICOM and a lower stitch to the upper. And then you're just going to have to sort through each one um, and plan the case accordingly. But, you know, um, most of these cases, you're going to do one arch at a time. You know, I'm not going to suggest jumping in and doing double arch surgeries right away. So you're going to come back and scan them again and replan it for like the second arch down the road.